Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Funko Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection, figure number six, Chandra Nalar. Down below, warning choking hazard may contain small parts. Chandra does have a very small fireball, so I would say yes, make sure you don't want to be giving this to a children. It is recommended for ages 14 and up. Coming to us from the folks over at Funko, coming from the folks over at Gentle Giant, and coming to us from the folks over at Toots Toys, where Spot picked up these figures from. Down below, some really neat artwork. I like the design of her down there. Not sure what I think about the figure just yet. We'll have to wait to take this out of packaging. On the back of the package, however, Series 1 consists of Jace Bellerin, Garrick, Wild Speaker, Ajani Goldmane, Nisa Ravane, Liliana Vess, and Chandra Nilar. Powered also by Gentle Giant Studios. What I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection figure number six, Chandra Nalar. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Chandra Nalar comes with one accessory, and that is a fiery ball of destruction. I like that both the the ball, the fire that she you can put into her hand, I'll show you that in a second, and also her hair are painted in such a way that it's not just one straight color, there's a transition of color happening here. Uh, this fire attachment is also a soft rubbery piece, so it's not, uh, you don't have to worry about this breaking or uh, poking somebody in the eye. Not that you would really be poking somebody in the eye with a fireball. Don't ever do that. You can take it and put it into her hand. Uh, I guess really, I'm trying to see which hand is more better suited for it. Probably this one, maybe right here. But she kind of holds it more like, uh, I guess, like an apple. Uh, but as I mentioned, I do like the hair. Normally, fire hair doesn't work very well for me. I guess because normally whenever we see fire hair, I, I it's generally on human torch figures. Those figures never work out. They're, they end up being really bad. Uh, Chandra here, on the other hand, looks good. I think, in fact, she also looks better in, in hand than when she did in packaging. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to get a figure out of packaging to gauge whether they're a good looking figure. Because you can kind of see like all the different, you know, the you see the 3D version of them rather than the 2D when you see them in packaging. Uh, nice, great. Uh, she's got like a chain mail kind of armor going on here. She's got several different layers. One thing I'm gonna really give credit to, tip my hat, is with the pieces that they've made, Funko, uh, they've put a lot of care into them. Uh, so get, you've got the chain mail, but you've got all this soft rubbery pieces over top where they've, they have thought about things such as moving arms. You move an arm and stuff like this should normally be an obstruction, but uh, there's no worries at all when I'm moving these arms. Nothing is, nothing is in the way, nothing's preventing me from moving these arms forward or back. Probably just wish she would hold the uh, fireball a little bit better. Face-wise, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's uh, the, the problem with her head is probably something you just saw right here. When you turn her head too much, it seems to want to pop itself or partially pop itself out of the socket here. And uh, it's, it's a little loose. It's a little loose that you can even see right there. The cavity that holds the ball socket, I feel like could be maybe a little too big, or the neck itself is too too low. They probably did that so that the hair would clear, but it means that there's not enough really grasping onto that ball socket to keep the, ne the neck in place. You kind of just adjust it. I haven't played, and I probably won't be doing much playing with the head after I get it in a certain position, because I just don't want to add insult to injury and start wearing out that ball socket any worse than probably what it is right now. Uh, but I do like the rest of her body. Like even areas such as her knees, like her kneecap has a rubbery piece to it. So it doesn't hinder at all that double bend in the knee that she has. 
that is really smart developing on the end of Funko and or uh, Gentle Giant. For your articulation, as we already mentioned, she does have a bulge in the head, but again, you got to be very careful. Just be very careful when moving that head socket. Shoulders are also on a pin and hinge socket, so they rotate out. You can see like the shoulder pad, again, moves nicely out of the way. She has a swivel at the elbow, or swivel, I should say, at the bicep. She has a hinge in the hand, hinge in the elbow, and a hinge and rotation in the hand. That is her hand, that is her elbow. Uh, torso, she does have a ball joint in the torso. Doesn't really move very much at all. Uh, no waist swivel from what I can see, but she does have leg articulation, probably a ball hinge. Yeah, it's a ball socket joint. So the leg moves out uh, slightly forward, slightly back. As I mentioned, a double bend at the knee and that hinged foot. Kind of hinges left and right a little bit, but pretty much just back and forth, up and down. I don't know, I probably would say I don't know if this is my favorite figure. This probably could be my la least favorite from the ones that I was uh, I picked up. Um, I don't think also she holds the fire very well. That's that's another thing that I w I kind of wish there was an easier way to hold the fire. Maybe there's if there is an easier way, maybe Spot has not found it. But I had it I had it working before, and now it now it just wants to give me problems. It's like everything else, it just gives you problems. I guess when life gives you problems, you make problem aid. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Let's try his other, let's try her other hand, see if we can get it wedged in there. You're essentially just, yeah, see, there we go. Uh, for a rating, for a rating, I'm gonna give Chandra Nalar, I'm gonna give her, I think I'm gonna give her a 7.5. She's a great looking figure, little problematic when it comes to the head, she may not be my favorite figure from the set, but uh, she's a pretty good looking figure all around. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Funko Magic The Gathering. Uh, this was figure six, and we were having a look at Chandra or Chandra Nalar. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more, uh, more Magic The Gathering figures heading your way. And again, certainly if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself, you can head over to the folks over at Toots Toys. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time.